What's going on, you guys? We had a couple things to knock out today. There's always things to knock out today. So, as you guys seen in the car and race video, didn't go as planned. Still struggling with launching this car and breaking the stuff. But I, I feel like in my heart and in my soul, we are close. We are close to getting everything that's been fatigued, everything that's been abused over the years, getting it replaced and getting this car to the point to where it's going, it's going to start doing some crazy things. We're gonna start setting some PBs with it and maybe even start breaking some you know, records here in Colorado with it. Which, I mean, we do hold the record already for the quickest H pattern, quickest, fastest H pattern in Colorado. <clears throat> but, I'm trying to bury that number. We want one to 60 foots. We want, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna happen. We're getting close. So, the last kind of upgrade out there that's available without doing a bunch of fab work and doing a bunch of crazy stuff is getting the drive shaft upgraded. So, I should have done this earlier in the year. I kind of put it behind me. I was like, well, this, you know, everything looks good it hasn't happened but it happened the u-joint attaching the drive shaft to the rear diff broke and caused us to not be able to compete in the race which don't get me wrong had a great time going out there that was sweet first out of you know out of state race that track is awesome and i'm looking forward to you know going back to that track next year but we gotta get stuff upgraded we gotta get stuff fixed so i just picked up the drive shaft from the drive shaft shop not not dss not the DSS place that everyone's used to, which I think they're at, based out of California. This is just one uh, drive shaft shop just down the street from me here local in Colorado. So what we did here is this is something that a couple of guys have done and uh, it's it's kind of, it's an upgrade. So this flange right here is uh, not really an aftermarket. This is a stock Evo flange. So I was trying to hunt down a 3000 GT VR4 flange because that's what's in the car is the rear diff is a VR4 rear diff. But come to find out, this is like the same bolt pattern. It's the same uh, flange diameter here and all that stuff. So this is the factory one they gave back to me. So we cut this one off this shaft. This originally was welded onto this shaft. We put on a bigger flange here to accept the 1310 U-joint. So that's what got upgraded here is the U-joint got upgraded. It's kind of hard to tell, you know, just in camera, uh, in the video, but this is a factory one. And this one is, you know, not crazy bigger, but it's definitely bigger and it's definitely an upgrade. So these, these don't even have a number considered like on the U-joint size. They just call them import Japanese. So 1310, we upgraded this bad boy. So they obviously welded on this flange. They balance it all, paint it all nice and black. And when we broke that drive shaft at the race, this flange also got broke too. And then this, uh, this aluminum flange got beat to crap. So they chopped that off, put on a new aluminum flange. We got a new flange here on this side as well, plus new U-joint here. And then they did a whole new U-joint down here. So the drive shaft's been serviced 100%. It's been balanced back together. It's ready to rock and roll. So hopefully this fixes all the issues well, we just not like we had a bunch of issues, but hopefully this holds the power and it doesn't break. If it does break while we're racing, I got a backup one built right there. And the only thing I we would have to do is as long as this stuff doesn't break, we just unbolt this, slap on the new one, we're good to go. But when this one broke, it also took this out. So I had them order me another U-joint and another one of these flanges because I can swap that at the track pretty quick. Popping in U-joints and stuff isn't bad. So I'll pretty much have all the parts in the trailer in case the drive shaft breaks to get the drive shaft fixed. But this should hold. I mean, the stock drive shaft held, I mean, Day put this car together, I think in 2015, he's been beating on it. We've been beating on it together. That sounds very weird. <laughs> don't, don't clip that. We've been beating on it together for almost 10 years now. So the stuff holds up. It's just been, it's just been beaten on, abused and fatigued. So. Like I said, I feel like we're finally kind of getting past all the fatigue shit stuff. We're getting new parts in there and we should be ready to rock and roll. But before we get to slapping this in today, we gotta work on the work van, the business van. So this thing's having some uh, blend door issues. The blend door controls like what switches between feet, defroster, all that type of stuff. Uh, it's clicking and making a god awful noise and it like will randomly click and it's been killing the battery Let me see if I can get it to make it. It's kind of like random when it gets it to do it, but Let me see here 
See if I can get it to make the noise. Oh. Well, it's, it started to do it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, you hear that clicking? Yeah, that's annoying. Huh. So it's coming from back behind the cup holder spot. So I should be able to just pop this off. Hopefully we can get to those actuators pretty quick from what I've researched. So we gotta get that fixed. I got the parts here. So once we get that fixed, we gotta get to scoot the trailer over. We'll get NFT back in the garage. We'll get the drive shaft in, get the TK filled back up transfer or with fluid because it leaked out because the drive shaft's not in there. We'll go do a little spin around the block, make sure NFT's good. If that's good, we'll get NFT loaded back up in the trailer because we're gonna go testing in a week. So current time, my time Saturday. I'm a little behind on videos, so by the time you guys see this, we may be already heading to testing, but we're gonna go test in a week from my real time. Back down to Pueblo, we're gonna do more testing. We're not done with the car, season's not over, track's still open, and there's a possibility that if testing goes good, I say this every time, don't I? Fingers crossed, really optimistic, half class fool guy. If testing goes good, there may be a chance that we may try to travel out of state to go maybe go do an IFO race, uh, a couple places. So I've been kind of looking, I'm not done racing. The car is, you know, it's not like the car is completely out of commission for the year. So we'll see how testing goes. We'll reevaluate kind of after that. So before we get to working on NFT, I'm gonna bring you guys along real quick. We're gonna knock out this stuff on the work van and then we'll get to fixing NFT. So then we do it all around here. I had a guy comment on the, one of the videos that he's like, you just do it all, and we try to do it all. I mean, I enjoy, I like fixing stuff, so I try to do as much as I can. There's some certain things that I'll pass on to other people that have more experience, but right now, it's time to GSD. So let's get gloves, let's get tools, let's get other cameras, let's get to work. There's... All right, so now this thing's wanting to play games with me. So I got a lot of this all tore apart, and I think I found the two blend doors, and it was, oh. Oh, oh, okay, yes. I knew if I grabbed the camera, I might start making it. So, let me see here. Oh, it's definitely this one. Yep, cool. All right. You can see this guy right here that I'm pointing to. That's, th that's our clicker course the hard one to get to so looks like there's one two three screws or something going in from that side so i should be able to get a shorty little stubby screwdriver let's get that guy out so it's not too hard to get to but i mean if you're a bigger person it may be a little a little bit of a struggle a little bit of a battle but luckily we're small we're small and petite <laughs> i'm a man still all right let me go grab uh some stuff let's get that sucker out All right, let me get this key out the way here. So that was a fun little guy to replace. Uh, right right there, my finger's tickling and stuff, there's a way, but whew, we gotta replace. It's weird because that one, that actuator, actually controls the blend door for the hot and cold. But the issue we were having was that the direction didn't want to change. It was stuck on defrost. So I wonder if this, the body control module has some type of system to where if you don't uh, or if the temperature or like I don't know if one of those body modules or something goes wrong it just may not work the system it just defaults to defrost which is kind of smart because like you want defrost on your vehicle uh, everything else uh, you can operate the vehicle without like face feet all that stuff but like in the winter time or I mean, if it fogs or whatever, but you want it on, you want it to kind of default default to defrost because you can still drive the vehicle. If it was like stuck on feet and it snowed or whatever, and your window was iced up and stuff, you couldn't be able to like, see what I'm saying? You wouldn't be able to melt the, the ice or drive the window. So, but that was kind of a pain in the butt to get to, but we got that fixed. We swapped that one out. Uh, I just checked this other one was making a slight clicking noise over on this side. And that's the one that actually changes the direction, but I think it's all right. So I'm just gonna roll with it. That one's easier to get to. So I don't wanna mess with nothing. The system works fine right now. It just like when you switch positions, it makes like one click, but I think it's fine. So that, uh, I'm just gonna slap all this back together and then uh, we'll get NFT out the trailer and roll with that.
What are you doing? Huh? Oh, you came. Okay. I thought you were facing she, the van still. So. She came to put the wall. Well, I am. Not yourself. I know you're recording yourself. I thought you were showing them and talking still. So. Oh. No. I'm telling them. I just got to put this back together now. I got it all working. And then got to move this out the way. Get the truck and trailer hooked up. Get the trailer moved over. Get an FT out. Slap the drive shaft in. Yada, yada, yada. And somewhere in between there, we got to eat some food. But uh, I'm going to slap this back together real quick. And then we'll get to doing that. Oh, NFT, what do you do to me? <laughs> All right. NFT's back in the garage. Up on, back on jack stands. So I'm going to grab the drive. we got to get the rear flange off, I think, first. Let me let's go and right here. Take a, take a look, Steve. Uh, yeah, so that guy is still on there. So we got to unbolt that real quick. Which I think it completely broke off that one side. That's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that broke that sucker off. It's a little weak ass U joint. So, damn. Broke that thing clean. So, we gotta get this off. I think we gotta pick up some bigger bolts. Because I don't have. I wanna go get some like grade 8 bolts for that. So, we'll have to run and grab those real quick. And then, yeah, a little dinger there from the drive shaft. Not too much. Not too much damage back here. I think I kind of beat that stuff up a little bit. All right, so well, let me grab the trans. Let me grab the drive shaft, and we'll slap that thing back up in here. Well, first, let me zap that off real quick. Come on, go on your home. Okay, we got the drive shaft back in the front. I also picked up this nice carrier uh, bearing slash bushing from JX, JXB, if I'm saying that right, I believe so. But I got two, uh, I think, I gotta make sure I got these tight, which I can check once I guess I get that up there. So, yeah, this is, so, full upgrades, this is supposed to be the race one, it's supposed to, you know, help absorb slash stiffen the drive shaft, so. Slide back in there, so we're almost there. Hold the power. Yep, those are nice. Sits flush, looks good. Check it out, new drive shaft is in. We got all new stainless steel bolts, some M10s. They fit nice and snug in the holes. And then I was worried about the flange not matching up, but or closing up, but it's nice and tight. So there's no gap. Spin it all the way around. It's all nice and it's all nice and flat. So everything bolted in. Drive shaft was the right length. Got the new carrier bearing. Uh, yeah, carrier bearing bracket, bushing assembly, all on there. So yeah, drive shaft's good to go. So we just gotta uh, top off the transfer case fluid, put some in there, and then we gotta swap out this rear axle over here. Because uh, this one is uh, not mine. Uh, old Jib Jab hooked me up. So I got all the parts to rebuild mine. So I got to take this one off. And then I got to get those back to him. And I can slap my new new one in. So we're rolling with that one. That one should be good. Uh, but I got a new. I got two new axles. I'm just putting the new axle on this side. That one's still fine. So that's the plan. That's Oh man. I went golfing yesterday. Abs everything are sore so having a hard time getting up and down so uh yeah transfer case fluid axle stuff and it's starting to rain which we haven't had rain in a while so kind of nice hasn't been that hot it was nice today working on stuff so let's get that knocked out real quick Okay, let me show you guys what's going on here. So, these are the new DSS rear axles from the DSS shop, brand new. These are factory OEM 3000 GT or Dodge South VR4 or RT rear axles. This is the axle that we broke, slash it didn't break, but we stripped out the splines to it. Which I'm gonna hit up DSS and see if there's anything we can do about getting that fixed or just a single replacement. And then 
This is Jib Jab's other axle that obviously I didn't use because it's good, but he sent me both of them in case. So this one I gotta get boxed up, as well as the other one that I have in the car. Send that back to him. Uh, this I'm going to, this is, I mean, a lot cleaner. These are super dirty. I gotta pull these apart because we just need the these cups. Uh, these cups and those cups, we just need the cups. We don't need the bars. The bars, unfortunately, don't work. So we're going to swap stuff around, get at least one axle built, maybe both of them built, get that slapped in the car, and then the car should be good to go for a test drive around the block. So we'll see how that goes. All right, cool. As you guys can see, we got that all together. Let me put my... All right, so we got the axle all completed and stuff, so all we gotta do is swap it out. We gotta top off the T-case with fluid, and then we'll be able to go on a little test drive around the block. But as you can see, it's nighttime, so we're gonna finish this in the morning. So, and boom, like that, it's daytime. We're back in the shop, back in the garage. So, we're gonna slap some fresh gloves on, get up underneath the NFT, we're gonna get this axle swapped out. So, like a blink of an eye, huh? Like one frame, here we go. So, uh, woke up a little, it was a little chilly this morning. It's not too bad right now. It's like 70 degrees actually right now in the garage. So, uh, yeah, move you guys over here. Let's get this axle swapped out. And we're gonna go for a spin around the block after we fill up the transfer case. We cannot forget to do that. Okay. Sweet. Axle's back in. Oh, it's kind of a pain in the butt underneath on the ground. So it's got to roll up to the front. Oh, I gotta go grab the transfer case fluid and uh, top off the transfer case. And then this thing will be ready for a spin around the block. CV axle is fixed. Drive shaft is fixed. Uh, Why the thing was up in the air, fired it up, and I threw it in gear. Everything was spinning, everything sounded good. So we're gonna go for a little cruise around the block. And hopefully everything else still sounds good. So let's fire this bad boy up.
Test drive went good. Everything felt fine. Uh, drive shaft felt smooth. There was no crazy vibrations. Uh, I got on it a little bit. A little power. Obviously nothing too crazy. Back road, fast car. So, uh, but I think we're I think we're good to go. So all I got to do is uh, get another axle ordered because I still have that one. I just want a spare axle to have. Spares, spares, spares. Uh, get those other. Uh, DSS axles cleaned up, packaged it up. We'll get those sent back to Jib Jab. I still gotta rebuild the passenger CV axle and uh, get that stuff all packed back up in the trailer and then we can get NFT load up in the trailer. But that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Kinda all over, fixing the van, fixing NFT. So another weekend here in SFAB at the shop, you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And if it's the weekend, I guess even if it's a weekday, get out there and it's GSD, baby.